Um, guys, I feel like I want to kind of have a little talk about just YouTube and, like, where I'm at and thinking about stuff. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but, like, a lot of YouTubers have been retiring this year. <laughs> like, it's fucking weird. Like, it's, like, it's up to about five or six, like, big YouTubers. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm just reading it here. I, okay, look, people... P I'm not, I'm not, I'm not retiring. I'm not retiring. I, that's not happening. But I guess I have been thinking about stuff, right? And what started me thinking about this was about a month ago, I think I watched a Scott the Waz video called, um, Let's Talk. It was, it was weird because like, I don't, I don't, I don't watch a lot of Scott the Waz for no other reason than he's just never really like come into my purview, like, I couldn't really tell you the style of his video, I just, I've just never really watched him, I'm sure he's awesome, I'm sure he's super talented, um, but for whatever reason, this video came across my timeline, and I was like, ooh, let's talk, that sounds spicy, and so I, I watched it, and he was basically talking about, and he was, like, very eloquent, he was very, like, concise, but he was basically talking about how uh, basically, he'd been doing YouTube for, like, six years or something like that, and he felt like he just could not keep going at the pace he was at, and that, like, he was getting older, and it was really slowing him down, you know? And, um, there was this bit in the video, and it really hit me, where he just goes, like, something like, Because as I get older... Like, I, I do know that, like, hey, things things need to change alongside that because, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to do everything the exact way you've always done it since you were, like, 19. Because that's how old I was when I started the show. And uh, now I'm 26. And I just felt my bones turn to dust and blow away in the wind. Like, just... <laughs> just <laughs> time chat time's got me it's got me in its cold skeletal grasp how old are you john good thing you're 24 uh the right but guys i'm 37 i'm 37 fucking years old you know uh, I'm 11 years older than poor, burnt-out Scott the Waz. And I'm not saying that as, like, what, okay, what I don't mean by that is I don't mean, like, Oh, Scott the Waz, you think you're fucking old, you're not old, fucking suck it up. That's not what I mean at all. What I do mean is I think it, like, it really brought into sharp focus to me that, like, YouTube is kind of a young man's game, you know, it's like, it is, so I think like what happens when you're doing YouTube videos, right, is you start to slow down, and I'm sure you guys have seen this with like a lot of creators, not just me, but it's like, there's creators that, you know, they start and they're making like, like four videos a month or two videos a month or three videos a month, whatever it is, you know, and they just, they, they put out a few, and they put out a few, and they put out a few. And then, all of a sudden, that becomes once a month. And then all of a sudden, that becomes two a month, or that becomes like one every two months, one every three months, one every five months, one every six months, whatever it is, you know? And I think that happens for two reasons. And one is, I think as your brain adapts and understands what it is to make a good video essay, it also starts to become... You start to realize all these ways to make it better and you start to realize how important research is and how important fact checking is and how important doing like draft after draft after draft and making sure it's all as tight and concise as possible and what it is for a joke to land and what a lazy joke is and how to make a good joke and all this stuff and you gain the knowledge to make the best fucking videos you can make a withering here <laughs> impossible but what happens then is that you want to do better but the thing is now that you have that knowledge to do better doing better takes much longer 
it takes a lot longer to make a YouTube video that's like full of like, you know, that's insightful, that's well researched, that has personality, that has like good comedy, good pacing, good jokes. It's just, if you've never done it, it is such a more difficult thing than you can imagine. Like, I always remember um, when Brian from Let's Fight a Boss made his first video essay, he came to me and he was like, that was, fo I cannot believe that. Like, he specifically said, the fact that you make like 40 or 50 minute videos or whatever is, is fucking insane. He said something like that, you know? It's hard. It, it's really hard. Like, it, it's so much work and it's like, you very easily find yourself sacrificing everything for the sake of like, I fucking hate saying your art, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not trying to be like masturbatory about video essays. They're, they're just a thing, but like, yeah. And so that takes video essays start to take longer and longer. Right. And I feel like for the last two years, I have understood that that's what's happening with me. There was a time chat. I used to put out two to three videos a month, a month. Like, how fucking insane is that now? So that happens, right? But I think the thing that I have not taken into account, I've been doing this for eight years. You know, I've been making YouTube videos for eight years. And the thing that I have not taken into account, and I know this is going to come as a shocking revelation and just the most devastating piece of insight you have ever heard. But being 29... And being 37 are really, really different. <laughs> you know? One is way older, and it's 37, which is what I am. And it's weird, right? Because, like, when I'm fighting in jiu-jitsu, I've been fighting for, like, maybe... I've been fighting for, I'd say, five years now. And what I find is that when I roll, I can fight 100% as hard as I could when I was 29. Or when I was, like, 30, you know? I am... Um, I, I can still go. I can still go hard. But if I really blasted for a class and I try and just like, if I, if I say to say I do like eight, five minute rounds, I can do that. Like I'll last, but the recovery it takes the time, it takes so much longer to recover from that than it used to, you know, I'll be hobbling around the next day. I'll be sore. I'll be tired. And the same is true for videos to be honest with you. And like, it's weird because looking back on it, I've had this problem, right? Where I make a video now and like, say the video is like 50 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, whatever. I make it and I feel like I can still make good videos. Like I still really like the videos I make. Um, I, I like the, 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 the three last video essays I made, Roman Reigns, Simpsons, and um, the Fear and Hunger, three of my favorite videos I've ever made. Like, I'm not saying they're good videos. I, I like them. I think they're, I think they're good. But when I like look at on paper, what those videos took out of me and how much longer it took me to recuperate and to like start feeling okay again, it was a long fucking time, you know? And it sucks. Like, I, I hate it. I, I really hate it. And I think, I think honestly for a while now, I've been like really resistant to like, admitting that you know but I think the fact is like I just I can't really make videos like I used to and that that hurts like it really really hurts you know um how do I put this so I feel like from there you have like two options you have, you have a couple options right one is like you can you can make shorter badder videos and I guess I don't really want to do that for for you know obvious reasons and um, the second is like you can hire a team you can hire a bunch of editors and you know a co-writer or something like that and to be honest with you just don't want to fucking do that either um I know it's weird but I really take a lot of pride in that like I I touch 99% of whatever goes into a video and if, if something else goes into a video, it's going to be something I can't do like a, like an illustration or like a special piece of animation or something like that. And I love that, you know? And so I think like, um, what that kind of leaves is like, I think I just got to slow down a little bit 
which sucks. But last year, like when I look at it and when I really take a step back from it and look at like what last year was, like it didn't work, you know? Like I made some good videos um, and like the channel did really well and like, you know, monetarily everything was fucking cool. But I think it was like one of probably like the most unhappy year of my life and a lot of that was connected to other stuff it was you know connected to my my mom getting cancer let's wait a boss ending and just a bunch of other shit but the way i was working really made everything worse and so i guess i guess what i want to say like with all this stuff is kind of like this year i'm still gonna make video essays. I'm still gonna make a bunch of video essays. Like, I'm not talking about slowing down to, like, every six months or whatever, but I think, realistically, I gotta kind of prioritize my health and my well-being and stuff, and, you know, it's why I like kind of side projects, like, you know, like streaming, like Versus Wolves, like, stuff like that is kind of, has been such a comfort because it has just been this, you know, outlet that does not take that fucking insane effort, you know? Uh, the Simpsons is bad again, 2024. <laughs> My mom had cancer too, wait, I feel you. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough what it does to, like, your entire family. You know, not just you. Like, it's it was rough watching my dad go through it. Like, it was rough. All that kind of stuff, you know? Feels like the Berserk video was in large part about this lesson. Yeah, it was. For sure. Like, 100%. And i feel like i've been struggling to really accept that on a practical level like in terms of like building a schedule that's more manageable instead of just going fucking so basically the way i used to work was that i'd have a certain amount that needed to get done every week and if that got done then i could rest then i could relax then i could i could do whatever i wanted but especially last year like i made less videos than i've ever made last year I worked more hours, you know, it was ridiculous. And there was so much like being tired and doing a task badly and then having to do it again. And so I'm hoping by like, you know, taking on like a more manageable schedule. And like when I say manageable schedule, what I mean is like, I'm not going to work more than 50 hours a week, except, except on deadline weeks, because that's just what that shit takes. And that's fine. Because, like, I've done, you know, for eight years now, I've done 60, 70, 90 hour weeks, you know? And it, it, it doesn't, it's, it's just not sustainable. Like, it's, it's just not. And, like, I don't like, I don't like who I become when I work that much. And I don't like the effect it has on my, you know, my relationships and my friends and my family. And it's, uh, yeah, it's it's just it's a long one. Speaking for myself here, this is from CB Fire underscore ninety nine. Speaking for myself here, as someone who loves your video essays, the number one thing I get from your work is appreciation for art and the way you put it into words. AKA the reason I still binge old Elf Elf episodes when I need comfort to this day. If it means lowering the production quality and workload for your videos, it won't affect my enjoyments. See, I don't want to lower the quality of the videos. I I love like for like. Not even for you guys, for me, I love making videos and I love making them to a standard that that feels fun and feels satisfying. Like that's that's something personally in me I have to do. I know I know people would be cooler with like lower quality videos, but I just I just don't want to do it, you know, because then I also feel like, you know, I have patrons and I owe them my best and stuff. But yeah, a part of, I guess, like taking on a more reasonable schedule is I also don't want to fucking hate making videos. Like, I don't want this, I don't want it to turn into a prison, you know? Like, at, at some point, I want to move this year. I want to, I want to move house. I, I want to move into a house. And, like, last year, I was really stressed about the idea of, like, how the fuck am I going to move and still, like, work at the rate that I'm working like, that's impossible. And then I was like, am I going to be able to move? And then I kind of had this moment where it's like, wait, what? Why? Why am I? Why am I prioritizing it like that? That sounds kind of insane. So, yeah, I guess I just wanted to get all that out there and just have it have it on the Internet, you know? Um, <laughs>
Nah, I want Super Eye Patch Wolf ranting in his car arc videos. I mean, that's why that's why you're here, buddy. That you know, that's why you're here. Um. Uh, to be honest, car streams would be hilarious. Look, I am open to doing many different more types of streams. I think that actually be super fun. Um. But yeah, look, you're still gonna get Super Eye Patch Wolf videos definitely, but I'm I'm kind of giving up on. To be honest with you, the long lost dream of like going back to doing one a month or something like that it's just it just ain't in me anymore and i think if i did the videos wouldn't be as good so i don't know when the next video is coming out maybe sometime in february hopefully but yeah i just wanted to be straight up with all y'all and just 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 be you know direct and honest about like what's going on because it's uh yeah it, it's been I did a lot of thinking over the break and a lot about like what I want this shit to be, you know? Yeah, look, the videos, <laughs> the videos will come out when they're ready is what I'm saying. Um, and just to be clear, no plans to retire. Uh, I, I, I would like to be doing internet stuff for a long, long time yet. I just have to do it in a way that will not kill me. <laughs>